<clears throat> hey everybody, this is Game Freak 10124, and welcome back to more Let's Play Mortal Kombat 11. However, this is going to be separate, separate from the videos I've been doing so far. So far, I've been doing the Classic Towers. What the heck, really? But anyway, so far I've been doing uh, the classic towers, but this video, as you guys already know based on the title, I'm finally going to be getting into this game story mode. And as what is shown on screen lets you know, there's an addition to the game's base story mode as DLC, uh, World Combat 11 Aftermath, continuing the story of the base story of this game, and I'm going to be, of course, playing the late base story of this game. We'll see how this goes. I'm wanting it to be one chapter per video, but it all depends. Either one chapter or one hour, I don't know exactly how length of each video will be yet, but regardless, I do know this. Um, I'll get to the point in the story of unlocking Frost in the following recording session after I unlock Frost, I'll be doing Frost, going back to classic mode to do Frost's Tower, Malvis Tower. And then I will be, uh, after that coming back to the main story mode, three new characters are coming along with the Aftermath, Robocop, uh, Shiva, and Fujin, and I will be leaving them alone. I will be getting going all the way through the entire main story. Frost will be the only character I go back for initially. I'm going through the entire main story and do it along the way doing Frost's classic tower, and I will complete the entirety of the initial slash main story first. Then after that, I'll go back and do the three. At that, what will be at that point, new DLC characters, Fujin. Shiva and Robocop and doing them in Classic Towers, and then after that I'll be doing Aftermath. And then after that I plan on going back to Classic Towers again to do the, whatever the mid middle, mid middle difficulty is called. Because it's Novice, and then there's like two other size, bigger size towers. I apologize, I don't need to know the needs of them offhand. <clears throat> And I'll say this right now, since Darkwoods 271 should be watching this, huge shout out to Darkwoods 271 because if not for him and me watching his Let's Plays of Mortal Kombat 9, which he calls Mortal Kombat 2011, and Mortal Kombat X, I would have, wouldn't have been interested in the game and probably would have never got this game. <clears throat> but anyway, I'll read this off and then get, finally get started with this game's main story mode. Experience Mortal Kombat ever our first ever major expansion aftermath features a new a brand new cinematic story centered around trust and deceit and for well, unfortunate spoiler alert for well i already knew this, knew this prior to but unfortunate spoiler alert for anybody watching this who doesn't already know fire god Liu kang the new keeper of time and treasure of earth realm looks to secure the future he envisions in order to do so he is forced to enlist the help of some unlikely allies and familiar foes Players will have to decide who they can trust and who they must defeat with fate on the line. Forge a new history includes all new cinematic story mode, three new little characters, Shiva, Fusion, and our guest Robocop. <clears throat> and since they're bringing back Shiva in this, I'm hoping that in the future, they at some point, they bring back Goro. How can you have Shiva and not have Goro? <laughs> Real quick, I'm gonna check the store because I'm wanting freaking Shang Tsung Soul Man if I can get it. Nope. Because it's Aaron Black and Cetrion. Spawn and Sindel bundle, but anyway. Time for me to finally get started with the story mode here. Okay, subtitles. I could turn them off, but I'm going to have them on. 
And then I could go easy difficulty, but I don't know if I mentioned this, but there's like the middling tower towers for classic towers. There's novice, and then there's two higher difficulties, and that basically just means more characters you fight. And when I go back to classic towers after for all the characters, including the three new DLCs, once I've done the aftermath DLC story, um, I will be doing those all those towers on medium difficulty. So to get myself practice up for medium difficulty for those, I'm going to be doing the story mode on medium difficulty. I want to say that because as of so far, I've been doing classic mode on easy, and I wanted to mention, okay, I'm doing this on medium difficulty. This is why. <clears throat> WB Games presents another Realm Studios production. <clears throat> I'll of course be quiet during these cutscenes, except for right now, and now I'm being quiet. destroy us, starting with you. Freaking rain and losing it. <laughs>
Starting out with Sonya Blade. <laughs> Next of kin, Cassie Cage. We've pushed back Shao Kahn, defeated Shinnok, yet none of our victories have come without cost. Recently, Commander Jackson Briggs was honorably discharged. His wounds, both physical and psychological, left him no longer fit to serve. We honor Jackie's father, and we honor his sacrifice by doing what he would do, tirelessly defend Earthrealm. Sergeant Cage, step forward. Your leadership and warfighting ability have earned you promotion to commander. But there are no family favors here. By special forces tradition, you still have to pass one last test. I need to kick the CEO's ass, ma'am. Your ass, ma'am. All right then, Sergeant. Let's see if you can take me. <laughs> I love it. Fight. Now let me see. Move list. It shows finishers, but I don't know that, don't know that you can actually pull off fatalities in uh, the story mode. <laughs> Congratulations, Commander. Come on, Dad. You really have to go? Well, you've got your duty, Commander, and I got mine. Starring in yet another Ninja Mime sequel isn't what I'd call duty. <laughs> I need to provide for you in the manner to which you become accustomed. Jeez, guys, I'm right here. <laughs> <laughs> that was too good. Holy crap, that's Double hilarious. Wayne, Cassandra Cage. What is it, Raiden? The Nether Realm. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, good, I can pause it. I want to let you guys know ahead of time right now. Like it has been the case with a couple instances at least of my classic mode videos that at any point in time, unfortunately to stay, game capture issues can happen and make me have to split up the video. So I just wanted to mention that right now. If the video is messed up and it goes to the next video because of it, then that's why. <clears throat> we should open a dialogue. Maybe there's an explanation. 
Liu Kang and Katana were friends once. They are irreparably polluted by Shinnok's evil. They are no longer the champions we once knew. We must strike them preemptively. It's about time we brought the fight to them. What's the target? <clears throat> Very deep beneath Liu Kang and Katana's castle is the Cathedral of Shinnok, the seat of their power. Destroy it, and their undead army will fall, removing its threat to Earthrealm. Aren't your powers weaker in the Netherrealm? Yes, but I will have sufficient strength to occupy the undead army. That'll buy us enough time to infiltrate the cathedral. Destroy it from the inside. We get pinned down in there, there's no way out. To ensure Earthrealm's survival, we must all be willing to sacrifice. <clears throat> uh, you know, it's been two years too much of your grim and gritty makeover droning on about sacrifice. You don't have a family to lose. I know loss, Johnny Cage. Raiden's right, Johnny. We're not ready for another war. <laughs> We've got to take out Netherrealm's army now, before Liu Kang can bring it here. Hell over there. UVA so instead of hell of a withdraw or feel the wrath of Earthrealm's protector. <laughs> Turning my TV up and down because of really a lot and then not really much volume at all. As you guys can see, story mode is heavily story and a lot more story than it is actually fights. I probably won't be done with the story mode prior to the DLC coming out. DLC story mode. But I think it's Cabal. Should Raiden get this far? Eliminate him. I just want to make sure I can pause on a moment's notice. That burn victim's Cabal? Wasn't he Kano's goon back in the day? Don't let the scars fool you. He's fast. 
Take out him and Jade. I'll go downstairs and set the C4. Roger that. time. Played. He's the diversion. <laughs> Lock and load. Thank <laughs> you. 
Katana fight. Katana. Empress of the Dead. I've not forgotten the last encounter in the Sky Temple. How are your scars healing? Fight. You're a lost cause. Fight. Orders 
are to leave. Got your back. How did the mission go? Yep. I think he realizes what happened. <laughs> no. And from Mortal Kombat X's story mode, they had just gotten back together as a family. I'm not gonna say or the reason as to why, but they just gotten back to being a family again from Mortal Kombat X's story mode just for this to happen in this game. They, again, courtesy of Darbones 271. Me watching his let's play. Restore their temple. I am Kronika, keeper of time. has been irreversibly tainted by Raiden's actions. Two of you have felt that pain most acutely. What can be done? The past is the past, is it not? It need not be. I intend to wind time back to its beginning and restart history. But even with my vast power, I cannot create this new era alone. <clears throat> How will this new era be different? In many ways. But most importantly, there will be no Raiden. How do we begin? She's got them hook, line, and sinker. She's probably playing them for a fool, I don't know for sure. <laughs> Collector. Time quake, Kolokan. Years you escaped my justice. Sucked dry the bounty of Outworld's people. Today, 
Your debt is paid. I'm gonna pause this right here. Let me see. Chapter select. Okay, so let me see then. Confirm. Because I wanted to end it on uh, Cassie Cage. So that's a good place to stop it. Okay, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's twelve. It appears there's twelve chapters in the main game, base game, prior to the DLC. So anyway, I'm glad I went to pause it and check that out. So. I'll end it off here in the next video. I'll probably do, it may depend on the length. I may split chapters up into two or three videos depending on if any chapters are, length, are longer than the others. But unless the length gets too long, my plan is to do one chapter per video. We'll see how that actually goes because again, I don't know how the story mode is because I'm of course playing through this blind my first time ever. So anyway guys, that all having been said, that's it for this video. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time for more Let's Play Mortal Kombat 11 Story Mode. Bye everybody.